Hello everyone, my name is Burke and I would like to welcome you to The Exchange. Today we'll be reading a story by a brilliant illustrator and author, and you'll have the opportunity to exchange your artwork with students from across the country. So what does the word exchange mean? Well, to exchange something is to trade it. So let's say my friend Miss Fisher has an apple and I have an orange. If we're exchanging our snacks, I would give her my orange and she would give me her apple. Today, you have the chance to exchange your artwork with students from across the country while helping students in need. Our story today is called My Colors, My World, Mis Colores, Mi Mundo by Maya Cristina Gonzalez. This is a particularly special book because it is written in two languages, English and Spanish. This story is about Maya's experience as a young child growing up in the Mojave Desert, which is in the southwestern region of the United States. As you can see from the picture on the right, the Mojave Desert is a dry, sandy place, and oftentimes, sandstorms sweep through Maya's town, leaving everything covered in sand, everything the same color, and she has to find the colors in her world. Again, the name of our book today is My Colors, My World, Mis Colores, Mi Mundo by Maya Cristina Gonzalez. Sometimes in the desert where I live, the wind blows very, very hard. A veces en el desierto donde vivo, el viento sopla muy, muy fuerte. Desert sand covers everything, everything the same color. La arena del desierto lo cubre todo. Todo parece del mismo color. I open my eyes extra wide to find the colors in my world. Abro bien los ojos para encontrar los colores de mi mundo. Of all the colors I find, I like hot pink the best. It's the color of the desert sunset. De todos estos colores, el color que más me gusta es el rosa. Es el color de la puesta del sol. I wear pink in the morning. I wear it in the afternoon. I wear it all the time. Llevo puesto el color rosa por la mañana. Lo llevo puesto por la tarde. Lo llevo puesto toditos los días. On hot days, I go to the shady side of the house. I make mud pies with squishy brown mud and orange marigold flowers. Cuando hace calor, voy al lado sombreado de la casa. Hago pasteles con el lodo suave, de color marrón y con caléndulas anaranjadas. I invite purple irises to be my guests for tea. Yellow pollen peeks at me. Invito a los lirios color violeta a merendar. El polen amarillo no me deja de mirar. Back on the sunny side of the house, the cactus grows green and sharp. En el lado soleado de la casa, El cacto crece verde y afilado. In the backyard, I sway on my swing. I helped my papi build it and paint it the perfect shade of red. En el patio, me meso en el columpio. Ayudé a mi papi a construirlo y a pintarlo de un tono de rojo perfecto. When my papi comes home from work, I see his shiny black hair. 
cuando mi papi vuelva a casa del trabajo, veo su pelo negro y brillante. I love all of the colors in my world. Every day I watch the hot pink sky turn into dark blue night. Me encantan todos los colores de mi mundo. Cada día veo el cielo rosado convertirse en noche azul. And that is our story for today. Now, it's your turn to find the colors in your world. So first, choose a color. Look around you. Notice, where do you see that color in your surroundings? Then, create a piece of artwork that shows what that color looks like in your world. Finally, take a picture of your artwork and send it to twohangapencil at gmail.com. Here is my work where I chose the color green and I found a kiwi, a basil plant, I found my favorite t-shirt is green, the couch that my family sits on together is green, and we have a lot of four-leaf clovers still in my house from St. Patrick's Day. So now it's your turn. I chose green, but you can choose any color. Notice where you see that color in your home. Create a piece of artwork that shows what that color looks like in your world and take a picture of your artwork and send it to twohangapencil at gmail.com so your artwork can be exchanged with students from all across the country. And you can help students and friends in need. For every piece of art we receive, we will donate $10 to No Kid Hungry, which helps to make sure that students from across the country are receiving healthy, nutritious food that they need. So, my friends, be safe, be well, be kind, and thank you so much for joining us for our very first exchange. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time.